what's going on. The Phil Heath tour continues. We just <laughs> left New York, back to Michigan. Now we're heading back to New York, but this time we're actually going to the NPC New York State Grand Prix, where I'm going to be making an appearance uh, Saturday, all day Saturday. We're going over to the pre-judging and the night show. But once we land here today, today's Friday, I'm actually going to go to the athlete check-in because I enjoy meeting those men and women that put it on the line. And uh, I'll probably give them a little bit of encouragement as well. But uh, look forward to seeing you guys all at the MJN uh, Civic Center. And uh, we're out. Peace. First meal of the day. Actually, just got to the airport and uh, got bagel, bacon, egg, cheese. I don't know what's in this one. Ah, some uh, potatoes. Yep. Wow. What's up, baby? How you doing, man? What are the odds you just randomly run into Phil Heath at the airport? I'm looking and I'm like, dude, this kind of creepy. I'm like, I know that's not who I think it is. Yeah. All right, so took a, a little bit of a break. I uh, ran into a fan. Um, name is Mike. He works in cybersecurity. So, of course, being an IT grad, we started to chop it up real, real quick. Um, but, yeah, now back to the food. We'll get on this flight to Poughkeepsie. How you doing? Well, come on in. All right, so here is the contest poster. I brought my own Sharpie, so I'm going to go ahead and sign these. And uh, yeah, they actually put <laughs> they actually put me down as eight-time Miss Olympia. I wish it was eight, if not ten. I'll scratch it out and actually put seven. But um, yeah, it's always really cool to be able to see your face on a, on a poster. And you know, it brings me back. I mean, I haven't been on a bodybuilding stage competing in four years, but being able to look at the body of work and thinking about what was going on through my mind as I was hitting these poses, it was a collection of thoughts, but overall it was just having a whole lot of fucking fun being on that stage, being able to hear the crowd share what my you know hard work and dedication was doing and um yeah we are at no house growing company here in poughkeepsie new york um question out of the lobster roll and the smoked brisket sandwich i know they're two completely opposites but which one do you like yeah Yeah. Awesome. Pretty nice, pretty awesome. Perfect. Damn. Time to eat. Let's go. Mm. My God. Whoa. Was Pekepsi done you good? Very good. My God. I love brisket, and this sandwich is amazing, and it has zero chance of survival, so I'm going to get to it. Damn, that's good. All right, perfect. Thank you very much. All for me and none for you. Hmm. Damn. All done, baby. Oh. <laughs> and we'll be back tomorrow morning as we're going to go to the NPC New York State show. So if anyone wants to call and uh, check on them, um, yeah.
I've why? been up since 5.30. Why, well, why is your alarm still on? I don't know. This is ridiculous. I think I said it because I was starving and that was the notification. Why would you be setting notification you supposed to be ready to go at freaking 7? To go eat food. So the thing about Ash is that, you know, he's from the UK and I, you know, adore the guy, but he's learning this slang. Not even slang, it's just cultural stuff. So we're here over at the restaurant. You know, first thing they ask, like, what would you like to drink? We're like, both, we want coffee. Actually, we want a cappuccino, but they didn't have it. But then we realized, like, okay, let's just go ahead and uh, get a coffee. So we do that. And then this fool <laughs> says, I want milk, which is fine, you know, right? So, you know, in America, we want cream or it's very rare that we just want milk but you on the other hand believe that creamer is milk right yeah i'm just saying right yeah. okay but you know we have creamer and then you have milk so what's i'm gonna ask you a question right mm -hmm, mm -hmm. before we eat breakfast what's the difference between creamer and milk i don't know it's just different it's just like i think it's like you know you have like i don't know let's let's look it's like a half and half, you know, we have half and half creamer. We don't mess around with all that bollocks. Just have really? milk. Just really? Have milk. But it's not sweet. That's <laughs> what you have sweetness for. Ah, that's, uh, and what's sweet now? Gains. Gains? Why are we bigger than you then? <laughs> you uh, say. You. <laughs> okay, we need to end this. Uh, cool. All right. You can take that. Yeah, no problem. Perfect. Thank you. Right, and I have your side of bacon. Oh, awesome. And I can make some room for you guys. Okay, I'll just make it easy. Cool. Oh, there we go. Awesome. Enjoy, guys. Enjoy Thank you. Um, oh, good, thanks. I think we're all good. You can leave the sugar, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, thank you. Enjoy, guys. Thank you. I probably won't even eat it. <laughs> it sounded good. We'll see what happens. I might have to help you. You might have to help me. I can't. I'm cutting. Help. I'm four weeks oh, out. Oh, you're four weeks out? From what? The Ooh, backyard yeah. barbecue classic? <laughs> So we just left the NPC New York State Grand Prix. They had the pre judging met a ton of freaking fans, and it was really awesome to be able to really connect, not just with the fans, but also with competitors, who happen to probably be fans too. Um, got to talk a, a lot about what they've been going through as far as their fitness journey is concerned, their mental health, um, breaking Olympia, my documentary, and then just having a lot of good time. But uh, now we're here back at uh, Texas Roadhouse. <sighs> These rolls, man. They're magical. I don't know what it's in them, but uh, I'm gonna get a lot of these in me, and uh, we're gonna head back to the show after this. It's just you already got discipline, just exercise. But this is the hardest part, right? Mm -hmm. It's the discipline after. The right. Show. Now I gotta distract this. I just want. Yeah, you want to win and enjoy yourself, yeah. but if you got another show, dude, it's like that's what pros do, man. Like that's what I did. My, my first Olympia when I had to turn around through three days of photo shoots, hop on a flight to India, never been there, food is shit, yeah. and then compete against the same guys I beat the previous week and still look good. Yeah. And I know they're willing to sacrifice, so what's my problem? And you have to think, there's another person that's gonna be competing at that next show and they're probably gonna be peak. So you gotta, there's no excuse for laziness. That's why you're disciplined, but the real discipline comes in these situations. All right, all right. Yeah, no problem guys, good luck, have a good night, later. Congratulations, man. You look awesome, dude. That's awesome, man. Perfect. I just want to uh, get you guys' attention to the, all the athletes that we're here to support. Please give them a round of applause because all of them have put in the work. Um, and with that work, I know for sure they've probably driven each and every one of you through the roof with their diet and how hard their cardio is and every daunting task that it is to be a bodybuilder. Um, real quick about 
gosh, I want to, it was uh, April 4th of 2003, I did my first NPC show. And like many of these young men and women, uh, it was their first time. And the encouragement that you guys can give them is insurmountable for what they've actually had in their head. A lot of the limiting beliefs, a lot of the no's, a lot of the different whys in the road of how they had to adapt, not just their bodies, but their minds and their emotions toward food and fitness is what delivered them onto this very stage. So that's why I always say, give these guys a round of applause because my first show, I was scared out of my damn mind. And uh, you just never know who you might be helping. And of course, they provide a lot of motivation for you guys too, to live a much uh, healthier life that hopefully they can transfer those elements, what they show up on here. Um, it's just like a nice energy exchange. Um, again, I'm just so happy to be here. I just wanna thank Matt Johnson uh, for putting on this event along with his amazing staff. Obviously the judges, you guys have been sitting here for quite some time having to adjudicate and no one really acknowledges the judges when they lose, okay? <laughs> you guys are the bearer of bad news, but also good news. So I just wanna shout you guys out too, because of course it's not easy to adjudicate all of these physiques, but uh, most importantly, the fans. Thank you guys for your ongoing support, not just with me, but all of these amazing athletes. Continue to do those things because those people, they really do freaking need it. You know, it's very hard, but life is hard for each and every one of you. So I wish you nothing but the best. God bless you all and have a great freaking night. Thank you. So that is it for this year's NPC New York Grand Prix. Got all the overall champions behind me. They're getting ready to put some actual clothes on and go get something to eat. And that's what we're gonna do. We already got our clothes on. But uh, needless to say, this has been an incredible event. Shout out to all of the winners, all of the champions, all the fans that came by. Thank you guys so much. And we're out. Peace.